Yes, now it's time for our money-saving guru, Mr Harry Wallop, to be back on the telly. Quite literally, cos look, there he is. Hello, Harry. Hi, Greg. Hi, Team Gadget. Hello, hello. Hi, Harry. Let me start off with a pretty dismal statistic. Did you know the average instant access savings rate in the UK is a paltry 0.26%? Ooh. OK, so practically nothing. But interest rates have been low for ages. Surely even you can't do anything about that. Well, what would you say if I said I could get you 4.8% interest? Mm -hmm. Listening. Ooh, I'd say tell me more. <laughs> well, it is an app called Hyperjar. And unlike an ordinary savings account where you put all your savings into a separate bank account, with Hyperjar, you split those savings into different virtual jars. OK, but how does that help me with my interest rate? OK, so this is what's rather clever. Hyperjar has teamed up with various consumer brands such as Lidl, Bowden, NotOnTheHighStreet.com and Shell Garages. And what you do is you put some of your money into different virtual jars that are linked to that particular brand, be it the Bowden jar or the Lidl jar. So, Harry, I'm guessing once your money is in these jars, you can't take it out again. Ah, uh, there's no flies on you, Otis, absolutely. In return for the very generous interest rate, the idea is that once you put your money into, say, the Bowden jar or the Shell jar, it can't leave that jar to do anything other than you spend money in Bowden or in Shell, for instance. Mm. Well, I guess it makes sense if you regularly shop at certain outlets. That's exactly the idea. This is aimed at people who are good at budgeting and like planning. So once you have essentially pledged your money with the different company, uh, it earns interest until you're ready to spend with them. Is this the point when you tell us you've sunk your entire life savings into little Harry? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but I have signed up with Hyperjar and it was a pretty slick process. You get sent a prepaid MasterCard, uh, which is linked to then a uh, pretty basic Hyperjar bank account. And I did put £100 into Lidl. And as you can see, it started earning interest the moment I transferred the money. And after a couple of days, I have earned the whopping interest rate of two pennies. <laughs> hey, <laughs> drinks on you, Harry. Um, have any other supermarkets signed up to it? Well, it's pretty much in beta testing mode at the moment, so there's a limited number of consumer brands. But when they launch fully in September, they promise there will be all sorts of other companies signed up. Now, it's worth mentioning that your money should be completely safe. If either Hyperjar itself goes bust or any of those consumer brands, it is your money and you will get your money back. OK, Harry, I think I understand how it works, but what I don't get is why they're prepared to give you such a high interest rate. Well, it's a, a way of making customers far more loyal, and in the early stages of testing, they have proved that people with a Hyperjar account do spend considerably more than an average customer at these particular brands. So the brands are more than happy to essentially give you a discount to shop at them because they're tying you in to carry on shopping with them on a monthly or a weekly basis. Thank <laughs> you.